bodies shouldn't move. Oh, the console is on. Oh, can I? Yeah, I'm kind of locked down. Can I, like, override? Power room, the BT-7 was locked down, so I can't reach the power room. Error removing lockdown standby for diagnostics. Launching and rewriting utility. Did say destroy the wow? Call system overload. If I start like this, an eternal nightmare. do this. Someone alive? Sorry, I'm just gonna explore the room first because I wanna know what I'm dealing with here. ship, a battery, and like that oil. You are breathing. You are a robot. Hi. No need to touch that. I'm gonna close that door because it's making me nervous. the heart of Alpha. Find Tau and f find Tau, find Alpha, take a cell to Alpha. Abyss, take it to Alpha in the Abyss. It's sick. Alpha needs medicine.
Okay, so. Are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Okay. Wait, I play them... That was the latest one. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Look at that. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. Catherine. You heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Okay. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Outgoing from Phi. Hmm. Okay. So that probably meant that Catherine and some folks went down with the Ark, but didn't come back. Nothing down here. So let's see, that's where I came in from. This one leads up. I bet I just released something up here when I open up the containment. That door is still sealed. That one too. That one as well. Did I do anything? Oh. Listen to me. There's one in each section, I guess. So I must have come from up here, yeah. So it's these two that's locked. Biomech Laboratories and Biological. So let's override them. Okay. I thought there was gonna be another puzzle. That really scared me. <laughs> something moving. We'll get to that in a second. What do we have here? Experiment on the wow I bet. Okay, 2602.38 mm. Okay, so it started. 
Oh, okay. So that's the whole. What the hell? Did he add electricity or something, and that made it turn into that? Check previous results. Task till two four two four four nine. System. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. So tired. What? Okay, let's check the computer connectivity. There's a camera on. The structure gel ha has been charged and actually keeps going for a while. Even when removed... Uh, even when removed from a power source, if applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Sounds dangerous. Pathology. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Stop the wow. Hmm. Is this Ross sending us some messages trying to, you know, end the suffering? Progress. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before el uh, electromagnets are used to cause a lower electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability, ability to somewhat control it. Paul Alansky. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same crosslink gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated yeah, matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a second a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the wow. The gel has not I'm listening to you, Ross. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in a ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Okay. Claudia Eves. Overwhelming evidence conclude that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure, structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charts charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancer's growth that affects their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the asteroid killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. <sighs> so tired. I've never seen something that of that speed. Structure gel as connector and inverse between energy pal S3 and organic tissue. Hmm. Gel uncalibrated. Control chip malfunction. Service required. Okay. Can I like... Okie dokie. 
Okay. Oh, here are the rats. Can I? Put something here. Yeah. Control this somehow. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Dispense gel to make it. Let's go back and try it on the both both other things. Just to see what happens. So now that thing I don't know what it is, but... There we go, perfect. Just want to see if I can pick this up, or if it's something dangerous. Nope, nothing I need. Now, what happens with the rat? Fucking crazy. So, yeah. It can even reanimate corpses. It came back to life. Or something like it. Yeah, I mean, is that what keeps happening to us? The times when we actually die from the enemy and get hurt, but we wake up again and then just go stick our hand in the wow? the gel. Now I just need... Can I bring that along? Oh. So now we just need a Cortex ship and a battery. Shouldn't be much of a problem, right? didn't notice that earlier. So Ross or something is 
inside of this. That was weird. Okay, so we can go in there in the creepy department. But let's just check out here first. Ross and the Wow. Paula Lansky confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witness a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. So yeah, he is trapped in the middle. Ross recharging. Wow is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is been bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and ra radiation, which seems to be instructing, instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not, I suppose that's supposed to say, not so sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. I think that's a typo. So they just waited to see what happened. Can we look at ourselves again? But I mean, changing our body might be good, since after all the hooking up to the WoW that we have done. At first I was like, what? I can grab the rat? No, it was just the scissors next to it. So we have healing here in this little biological bay. So we need a chip and a battery. Might we be able to find the battery in here? connected to this thing. I don't seem to press anything on it. So I don't know. Whew. I do not know. Can't 
do anything. So maybe there's just one thing on each floor. So since I found the structure gel on the opposite room, or in the opposite room, this one doesn't have anything. Maybe. Doesn't seem like it. Guess we will have to come back in case. Wait, wasn't there... It came from here, I think. Yeah, the door over there. By the body. Wait, what's this? I haven't been in here yet. What the hell happened here? Hmm. Catherine, talk with me. This place is driving me crazy. realized that the clock was quite much as well so I really want to be able to finish up this part of the game finding these parts oh great here's the stairs to the third floor yay Good sign. Okay, so that's where you, we can. What? So that's where we can, you know, override the system. But I'm just. Whoa! Yes, nothing. Yeah, static. All of their heads blown straight off. Hmm, I... Okay, do I want to get in there? Hey, someone with their head still intact, I guess. Reminder, check your ears. Okay, is this a way out? Airlock. Nope, no head. I just noticed. So... That might be the way out, I don't know. 
So I guess we need to go out here. And override the damn system. We're the, on the upper floor, so... Okay, so that one was simply just destroyed. So we can go into the mess hall. Okay, guess we can find like a chip or battery there. Airlock. Oh, I can go up to the power room as well. That's a battery, that might be a chip. Let's check the mess hall first. I hear you, Ross, I hear you. I would very much like to stop the WoW. Nice view! Oh wait! You were using a computer! Let's have a look. Undelivered report, one, two, three, okay. Johan Ross was found dead on the climate this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice so you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. <laughs> Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. What? Um, I don't know. Send. Unable to establish link. Message not sent. And I just, you know, gently slide over the table. 